This is Rock and Roll English. Real people, real English. Here's your host, Martin Johnson. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Rock and Roll English. Episode number 228, baby. Oh yeah. In today's episode, I speak to Dan the Man about... Well, it's quite difficult to say. It's a kind of special episode, okay? Because I found some old podcast recordings that Dan the Man and I made in 2016 that no one, no one has ever listened to, except me. Not even Dan the Man had ever listened to these before this episode. They were made before Rock and Roll English was invented, and they never made it to the real podcast because I thought, they were a bit shit, basically, but they are very funny to listen to now. So we listen and then we kind of comment on them. So I thought I would share this with you. You can listen to how I speak like a robot, for example, and you can listen to the problems that Dan the Man has caused me. All of the problems in the past, all of the problems now, you will have proof after this episode. Believe me, you can see how much he doesn't listen to me. He also mentions another story at the end of the podcast, which is not true. OK, and I've got proof because Dan the Man also mentions in the episode that I text him on the day that baby r and English was born and I didn't tell him her name. I said that she didn't have a name, but... Members of the Rock and Roll English family will support me on this because they will remember the day baby R&R was born. I posted a picture in our secret Facebook group with the name of baby R&R on the day she was born. All I can say is Dan the Man has a memory of a goldfish. I've said it once and now I'm saying it again. In fact, I think there's a whole episode dedicated to that. Um, You will see that Dan the Man hates listening to his voice because he listens to these old recordings like everyone does. So this episode is a bit difficult for Dan. Luckily, I've accepted that I've got a horrible voice. But anyway, that's enough about today's episode. Very quickly, remember, membership to the Rock and Roll English family is now open. Remember that you will get access to more than 600 episodes of Rock and Roll English, all with a transcript. And you will also be able to listen to the full recordings of these old podcasts that I found with Dan the Man. There are about five or six of them because I will be releasing them in the family. And there are also one million other benefits you get by becoming a member. For example, you can record a podcast with me. Yeah, not sure if that's such... A benefit, but never mind. One last thing though, I promise you this is the last time membership will open before the price goes up again. I actually wanted to increase it this time because I've added lots more things now. I've added more personal feedback. Group members can get feedback personal feedback on their writing and speaking. The only reason I haven't increased the price is because I didn't know how to do it with the technology stuff. And then I wrote an email to my technology guy and he said, I can do it for you next week, which is obviously too late. So make the most of this opportunity because I will be better prepared next time when membership opens, which will be probably three to four months. I normally leave it. So go to rockandrollenglish.com slash family and find out more information about that. Here is the episode. I will speak to you again at the end. Happy listening. Dan the man, how are you today? Always fantastic, Dan. Always fantastic, especially now talking to you. We haven't spoken in a long time. In fact, at the beginning of the conversation, Dan the man said to me, have you got a name for your daughter yet? Um, And I reminded him that she's three months old. (laughs) Well, time flies. And I forgot that you actually did tell me. Uh, I, I, I just forgot. Okay, thanks, Dan. That's nice, uh, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Really nice. Um, but well, no, uh, what it was, I, I I forgot. I just went to double check for our messages. I thought, oh yeah, maybe I did forget. Oh god, that's terrible. Right, let's cut this out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm not cutting this, that out, Dan. That that's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. For oh the no, because I feel bad now. <laughs> It's uh, this is rock and roll English all over. Okay. Um, anyway, how do we usually start the show? Uh, with a review. Oh yes. Do you think we have a review? I haven't got the faintest idea. So, yes. 
Um, lovely rock and roll vocabulary there. I haven't got the faintest idea. I have no idea. Um, yes, we do. Okay. And I got some good advice recently about the names because I obviously always make a bit of an idiot of myself when I pronounce the names. And the person whose name I read last week said, just say it with more confidence. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. So this mm-hmm. is from Laura Borisova. Boom. Okay. Um, And it says the best podcast for English learners, in my opinion. You can listen to it when you don't feel like studying. Martin and his friends are just having casual, funny conversations. But he also explains some words or phrases as they are speaking and then recaps at the end of the podcast. Thank you, Martin. And keep on rocking. Beautiful. Thank you very much for that, Laura. Um, no mention of you, Dan, but the the um, latest review, the review after this, does mention you, but I had to go in chronological order, okay? Mm-hmm. So, unfortunately, no, no is mention. It, is it favourable or not? I mean, it, it just says, it says, hi, Martin and Dan, okay? So, um, it's kind of neutral, <laughs> I suppose. You can't quite shake me off, can you? <laughs> <laughs> A lovely term there, to shake someone off, to try and get rid of them. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> but you're holding on, you're holding yeah. on. Um, anyway, so, I'm not going to ask you what we're talking about, because I have told you, although you've probably forgotten. If you've forgotten the name of my daughter, I'd imagine you've forgotten what we're talking about. <laughs> Well, it wasn't I forgot the name of your daughter. I just went to double check and then I looked at the beginning messages and you said, we don't have a name yet. And I thought, oh, you never told me. Um, I mean, we've had a name since the day she was born. So I don't know how far back you went. I asked you the day after and you went, yeah, we've got a couple of ideas. I mean, this is just absolute bullshit. But anyway, right, I'll, I'll get the photos. OK. In fact, this is something very much kind of what we're talking about today, because recently I, I went on my old computer and found some old recordings, okay, that... Um, what you what were not... you trying to delete from your old computer? <laughs> Don't ask, okay. Uh, <laughs> I mean, now, I... now you're a father. <laughs> yeah, just get rid of all that old material. Um, actually, I was trying to find a photo um, to send to Boom Boom, actually. Um, and I did find the photo. And then I found some old recordings that um, you and I made, Dan, okay? Mm-hmm. Um, so I thought we could go back and see kind of like, you know, how our lives have changed as well. Have a look at them. OK. Mm-hmm. okay. Um, so I'm just going to play some bits to you. OK. And then we'll have a discussion about them. OK. This first part. OK. This isn't the start of the conversation. Um, this is the start of the actual call. OK. <laughs> so um, are you ready for this, Dan? And this is an insight for everyone. OK. To what I have to put up with okay and what i have had to put up with for the last 30 years okay now i understand now i understand the real (laughs) message of this episode okay let's go it's it's not what you think but okay let's go certainly is, and full build-up to that game is underway. Um, Dan, do you want to turn that telly off? Get on with it. <laughs> what do you think you're playing out with your TV on full whack? <laughs> full whack? It's just fucking on, Johnston. I'm sorry, I didn't forget. I didn't do the sound check that I was supposed to do. <laughs> We're in a professional game here, Gandalf. I ain't got time for this bullshit. In fact, yeah. why don't we leave the camera on so I want to see if it makes any difference. Switch the camera on, then. Give me a second, fucking hell, Johnston, right. Come on you're very up. demanding now you're a, a studio man. Um. This must have been an early episode. This was actually before the podcast was even made, because, okay? This, uh, these were kind of the trial runs, okay? It, it, I, I was obviously trying to be a, a cool kid swearing all the time as well. I, uh, what was I playing at? Exactly. So some lovely vocabulary. What was I playing at? What was I doing? Which I think is what I used in the call as well. I said, what are you playing at with your TV on? I mean, who does this? Let's just let's just think about this for a minute. Someone calls you on Skype, you answer, and then you don't actually speak. You just let your telly answer for you. I think I was doing something else at the time. I think I was, you know, you weren't the priority. <laughs> Uh, okay, that that's very nice. Thanks. Is um, this what this is this what this episode is? Me listening to back listening back on awful things we've said or I've said. 
Um, I mean, not just you. There's some things that I've said. Um, another nice term there was the TV on full whack. Um, so, so that was how the the call started. Okay, um, and then we moved on to the episode. Okay, Dan. So let's have a listen to that part. Oh, Are God, we ready? I'm not enjoying this. Okay. <laughs> That makes it uh, better for me. But because I, 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 I hate my photo being taken. I've never listened back to a podcast. I hate my voice. You know, so this is this is awful. You just hate you just hate life, Dan. Okay, um, don't worry yeah. because um, there's a lot of me making an idiot of myself. Okay, so let's go. Hello, Daniel. Hello. How are you? Fantastic, as always. Welcome back on the show. Thank you for having me. Although the England game's on soon, so uh, you know we have to move pretty sharpish. Um, a lovely term there. Move sharpish. Okay, we have to do this quickly. God, this is this is a problem for me because I always look back on my life about you know two three years before, and I always think, God, I was such an arsehole. I was such an idiot. <laughs> but then I always think, but I think I'm okay now. And then, but I've got to the age now where I realise in three years' time. I'm going to despise who I am now. So, <laughs> so a nice term there to despise who I am, to hate who I am. I, I mean, don't don't be so harsh on yourself, Dan. Okay, just relax a bit. So, don't be harsh on yourself. Don't beat yourself up. Is another nice term. Listen, if I think about myself like that, imagine what I think of you. <laughs> Lovely. Um, although one thing I would just want to mention there. So this was actually during the European Championships in 2016, the Football European Championships. And even at that point, Dan the Man was saying, I don't like football anymore. So when you hear him on the podcast saying, I read Shakespeare, I like well, hang I, I like watching birds. In reality, he's a working class football hooligan like me. I don't like football and I don't, I don't think I liked football then. <laughs> I mean, th- this is what I mean. He said, I, I didn't like football then. It, he, you said, you actually said in the recording, let's, we need to do this sharpish because the football's on. Yeah, I think it was the Euros or something, yeah, wasn't that, it? <laughs> that's, that's literally what I just said. This is what I'm telling you people. Yes, but I've always said I don't like football. And the caveat is I like international football. Right. Okay. So the caveat, the the warning. Exception. The exception. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, we've got lots, lots to cover here, Dan. So we continued. This episode was actually, in fact, about conditionals. Okay. So let's hear this next part. I am going to bombard you with conditional questions. You okay with that? I am. How many? Depends. Do you know what a conditional question is? I've got no idea whatsoever. Um, has anything changed there, Dan? Do you, do you know what a conditional is now? Well, I guess we'll find out on the test you're about to give me. So. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to give you a test. You're not going to give me a test? I'm not going to give you a test. In fact, I actually thought, well, I, I imagined that you do know what a conditional sentence is now because, you know, at that point you didn't know a word of French, Dan. Now you, I think you speak quite well, no? Mm, I, I don't know if I'd go that far, but... I mean, well, I, I, I would hope I would understand a conditional now, but um, okay. I wouldn't put money on it. I'd put your money on it, but I'm not sure I'd put my money on it. <laughs> that's good to know. Well, I thought that's a you know something to celebrate that at that point in your life you didn't speak any French, you've improved. That's something. That's a good point, Dan. I, I was genuinely certain there was a test coming. And in fact, actually, when you told me it was going to be have something to do with conditionals, I actually thought. I'm going to practice for this motherfucker. <laughs> Preparation. I like it. Um, I actually think as well, my Italian maybe has got worse since that episode because that was in 2016. I already spoke Italian quite well. And the other day I was, um, I went to buy some bread, right? Mm-hmm. And they've got all these crazy names for this bread. I, I don't think this is an Italian thing. I think it's just a thing of this bakery where I go. And one type of this bread um, is called a spiga. Okay, and Mm -hmm. I was waiting there. They were talking to someone else. I was kind of daydreaming a little bit. And then they said to me, like, you know, what would you like? And then I said, I would like a figa, which um, actually means (laughs) vagina. Yeah. (laughs) So I was just like, yeah, I would just like a vagina, really. (laughs) And obviously they erupted with laughter. And as did everyone else that was in the bakery. And I just thought, oh, my God, I'm such a dickhead. I think I was just thinking about vaginas. That was the problem. So what was the bread actually called? A spiga. 
Okay, and you okay? I understand. Okay, so there, there is a similarity there, um, and like I said, I'm not sure if I just got the words confused or I was just thinking about vaginas. It was it's a difficult one. Um, so yeah, so that's something that's actually gone a bit worse for me. Um, but I've actually got a conditional question for you. Um, yes, you not, do have a conditional. No, question. this was ah, from okay, the recording. From Finally. the recording, Dan. It's arrived. Okay. From the recording. Let's listen to the question. Okay. If someone offered you twenty thousand pounds to take photos of yourself naked, but they had to go on the internet, would you would you do it? Would you accept the offer? Where on the internet? Everywhere. Just spread on the internet. So spread means for people to distribute it. Different I would channels not. on Facebook, Twitter. Yeah, I I definitely would not do that. You wouldn't for twenty thousand pounds. Well, how, I mean, how naked am I? I think there's only one form of naked. Naked oh. means to wear no clothes, Dan. I, I, know. I know what it means, but do can I cover myself up? No, you have to. Oh. Na- the nature of the word naked is no clothes. Are you offering me £20,000 to photo me naked? Because <laughs> it sounds like that. It sounds I, like I'm making an I'm offer. Definitely not offering you. Okay. Would you? Absolutely. £20,000. But then I am much more muscular than you, so that is yeah. You are blessed, aren't you? Would you okay. really? Yeah, twenty thousand pounds just for a few yeah. stupid pictures you, with no clothes on. Ten thousand pounds. I would do it for ten euro. <laughs> there you go, people. Um, and again, I don't think much has changed there. Um, I'm still extremely muscly, um, and. I don't know if I'd do it for 10 euros now, but maybe a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. Now you've got a daughter, you know, you have to... <laughs> <laughs> the, the daughter with no name. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Why am I shouting in that? Uh, that? That's just a thing of the recording, okay? Don't worry okay. about that. Okay. Look at you trying to you, you're trying to cushion my, my sadness <laughs> today. I, I mean, mean, you're not that bad, Dan. You're not that bad. It's okay. I'm surprised by this as well. I thought I was just going to be attacking you, but because I can see you're a bit down, I'm I'm trying to pick you up now. This is something else that has changed, Dan. Okay, yeah. I'm a new man. You're very nurturing. <laughs> there was no way I would have done this a few years ago. Um, okay, so l- let's keep going to see um, where this conversation takes us. I'm not sure what the next one is actually. <laughs> no, that, that's a joke. But anything in the thousand mark, I think you'd do it for a thousand euros. I think so. You are cheap. But maybe I would have a sign that said, I am doing this for... No, 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 no. Sorry, I didn't get any signs. But it's not covering my body. Well, no, I don't care. I don't care. All right, a thousand. That's interesting. Uh, but what I love about that, Dan, is how you say, no, 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 I didn't get a sign. <laughs> like, like it was a real thing. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, I can't... I'm not, I'm not even actually following the conversation. I'm just so <laughs> okay. mortified. <laughs> so mortified by what I'm hearing. Um, so, Who yeah. needs to follow a conversation? Yeah, you, you just sort of just think about whatever you want. And actually, I think that's what I did when I was thinking about vaginas. But um, nice to know you're not following the conversation. You specifically told me. Um, okay, but there is another one, okay? I don't know what this one is. Let's go. Next okay. question. Next question. So... If you could end, so if you could finish world hunger, starvation, mm-hmm. by cutting off your arm, would you do it? Firstly, is it a temporary solution? No, it's, it's forever. Forever, yeah. But then, <laughs> then another problem is going to come in, isn't it? It's going to be something else. So then you, when says then there, you... Stop there, Dan. One second. There's going to be. That's There's going to be. He's... He's getting very excited now, so he's talking yeah. very quickly. I'm concerned because I would cut off my arm, you know, save millions of people, and then you would say, oh, by the way, the whales are dying out. Can we take your right arm? Where does it stop? No. Would you? Would you? I, 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 don't, I don't know. Would you? I would say to the people, you can stay starving. <laughs> I want my arm. <laughs> I think that's a wise choice. What what about if it was uh, a leg? A le- no. A leg's even more important. If it was like a finger, the small finger, <laughs> I would consider it. <laughs> oh, 
this is painful. <laughs> I, th- I thought that was great. I thought you, you'd. Um, I thought that was a lovely part of the conversation. I just sound like a fucking idiot. I just... <laughs> I mean, so this was before. This was before episode one. Before episode one, well before episode one. These these are just some practice runs, Dan. I wish um, I'd listened to the the, the practice runs because <laughs> Jesus. I, I actually thought that was all right, Dan. Um, but listen to this next part. This is the bit um, I I enjoy the most. No, no, I'm joking. Of, of course I would. Of course I would. What, your arm? Uh, don't don't hold hold me to it, but okay. probably. All right, well, I'll say the same then. I'll say the same. Typical Dan the Man of um, then said, okay, I'll do it as well. Okay, jumping on the bandwagon, as we say, just doing what the other person, you need, you need to have some... This was five years ago, maybe more than five years ago, isn't it? This is uh, 2016, so five years, yeah. Yeah. Comments? A lot's changed. <laughs> a, lot, a lot's changed. Yeah, you, you're no longer a sheep, Dan, okay? Because then it was just like, okay, I'll, I'll just do what he does. What, what he said is good. I, I think these episodes didn't get aired because they were terrible. So I'm glad that <laughs> now they finally made it onto air and I have to listen to it. Oh. Um, okay, there, there is an, another good part here. Okay, let's go. Is this is this the entire episode? Is this it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> even Dan the man just saying like, just stop listening. Just stop listening. It's a load of shit. Yeah. Even <laughs> one of the people on the podcast doesn't want to listen to it. Imagine how everyone else feels. Um, okay, we're nearly done though. Okay, this was actually um, about swear words. Okay, this was a different episode. I took this from a different episode. Okay, so another very English one is bloody hell. That's not a swear word. It's not a swear That's word. Not a swear okay, word. this is a test I wanted to bring to you then. So let's say you're at dinner with your new girlfriends. I know it's impossible to think that you will ever have a girlfriend, but let's just imagine this situation. Okay. Oh. Hey, he was wrong. Exactly. That, that's exactly what I wanted to bring up, actually, um, mm. that neither of us had girlfriends even at that point. Um, I mean, the fact that we were doing this, one of the other recordings I noticed was on my birthday. OK, so the fact that I was spending my birthday with <laughs> you <laughs> just shows how pathetic and sad my my life was. And I mean, I'm going to speak for you as well. And your life was. <laughs> was that that was when we were recording in the apartment? Is that right? Yeah, that that was a different time when we were actually um, in the same room. But yeah, that was before Dan the Man. Uh, not not I mean, not Mrs. Dan the Man. Before Mrs. <laughs> yeah. Dan the Man. My girlfriend's not called Dan the Man. <laughs> you imagine that? That would be fucking crazy, wouldn't it? Um, and you know what? I was thinking about this because obviously, you know, there were some some lonely years. I mean, I'm talking for me here. I mean, I'm sure it was the same for you, but I'm not going to say that. Um, and you know what I've, I thought? Because now I've obviously got a child. And every time I've been out, just me and my baby girl with no name, I get so much female attention. So if someone had told me then, like, just have a baby or maybe just find a baby. Like, my brother had a, a couple of babies. Take one of them. Go out. Oh. Are, are you getting the female attention or is your unnamed daughter getting the female <laughs> attention? Um... I'm not 100% sure, but I mean, in those days, just speaking to a female was like, it just didn't happen. Um, so, just, and, and, just, yeah, just assume if, if they did speak to you, they're asking for directions and directions only. <laughs> and honestly, in those days, if a female asked me for directions, I'd be like, oh, hello, this is. <laughs> <laughs> what does she want? <laughs> Um, so yeah, a lot has changed for in um, our lives since then. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this next one, um, the question was, what would you do if you saw a lion? Okay, and Dan the man simply said, I would just walk away. Okay, and this was my response, but I'm more interested in in what Dan says. Well, where, where are we seeing the lion? Where are we seeing the lion? Um, it was just in a jungle. Okay, what am I doing in the jungle? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's changed, Dan. These are exact same questions you were asking me then. Okay, let, let's get to it. Probably shit my pants before walking or deciding anything. You've shut your pants a few times, haven't you? 
So when he says shat, that's just a different way to say shit. Um, not recently, no. <laughs> but as a as a grown man, you have shat yourself, haven't you? Well, that's a question for another. <laughs> but only when being ill. Okay. That's 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 not true, though, is it? What's not true? You've shat your pants. You weren't sick, were you? I mean, I, I didn't just shit myself. I was sick, okay? I was out. I was not feeling very well. Had a dodgy stomach. Listen, you've embarrassed me this episode, so I'm going to embarrass you, okay? You told me on your way home you couldn't wait to get to the toilet, so you <laughs> took a shit in the street. And your mum came out the next morning and went, some pig has taken a shit in the street. and That, that is such an exaggerated story. You, well, you told me this story. You took a <laughs> shit in the middle of the road like a fucking fox. And your mum thought it was someone but, else. But that is just absolute nonsense. Um, but the actual story was when I had a dodgy stomach and did a fart and then actually something else came out. Oh, that's another time you shit yourself. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm just a serial shitter. Um, anyway, so thoughts, Dan, on this. How how do you feel? Revolted. I, I just, yeah. No, nothing good. Like so, you've got a girlfriend. You speak French. You know, you you've come on a lot since then. So you've come on. You've really yeah, pushed on, developed. Sure. But it's it's just reinforced the idea that in five years' time, I'll hate myself now. So it's, <laughs> thank you for this. I can't believe I'm actually trying to like cheer you up here so to cheer you up to try no and it's not that it's happy. not that it's just god you know when you listen to old recordings of yourself this was always the problem with this with this podcast and i knew it from day one thinking oh do i really just, want to keep this on the record um just think about when my unnamed daughter um listens to a few of these episodes especially what you were just talking about <laughs> yeah, yeah the, the no amount of uh deleting information on your old computer can get rid of this now <laughs> exactly um, and i think that's a very good place to end so uh thanks a lot for your time as always dan no worries see you later see you later bye bye okay so that was dan the man and me speaking about the old times let's say so there was lots of nice vocabulary there most of the vocabulary i forgot to mention at the time but here we go at the beginning i said to dan that's rock and roll english all over when he said, cut this bit out, those stupid, embarrassing moments, that is rock and roll English perfectly. So that, there's a nice term to say that describes it perfectly. It's rock and roll English all over. Dan the man said he hadn't got a faintest idea about whether we had a review. Lovely term to say, I've got no idea. He also said, you can't shake me off. You can't get rid of me. Can you people still say hi, Martin and Dan? It's true. He's a legend of the podcast, though, so that will never change. I said that I read the reviews in chronological order. I think everyone knows what that word. I'm just doing that for pronunciation. Chronological. So from the newest to the oldest or from the oldest to the newest. I think you understand that word better than me, don't you? Um, I also mentioned these old podcasts were trial runs. A nice term there to say they were just trials, basically, to practice before Rock and Roll English actually started. Dan the man said, what was I playing at? And I said that to him. I said, what are you playing at with your telly on? So two terms there. What are you playing at? It's like, what are you doing? And telly is a word we use in the UK for television, TV. Because if you think about it, television, normally British people say television. So telly, telly is TV. All makes sense, doesn't it? And Dan the man said to me in the old podcast, get on with it. Just do it. Stop wasting time. And remember, his TV was on full whack. So if it's on full whack, it's right to the top, the volume at its maximum. I said to Dan, don't be so harsh on yourself. Don't beat yourself up. Two nice terms to say, don't criticise yourself so much, which I think is true. Dan the man criticised himself a lot in that podcast. I think unnecessarily. I think his performance, even in the old podcast, was fantastic. What do you think? Let me know. He also mentioned the caveat about him liking football. So the caveat is like the warning. He described it as the exception. So, yes, I suppose warning is a better definition, but never mind. Um, I then said that Dan jumps on the bandwagon. So when he said, 
okay, I just think the same as you. If you jump on the bandwagon, you just kind of do what everyone else is doing to be part of the crowd. I also said to Dan, you've come on a lot since then, which is a lovely term to say you have improved a lot. You can say my English has come on a lot since I started listening to rock and roll English. I also said this recording was well before episode one, so much before. Just a nice term to think about there. It was well before. Um, And last but not least, I said that I was trying to cheer Dan the man up, which is a strange thing to try and make him feel happy. I didn't think I would ever do that, but... That's what we came to on the podcast. I did almost feel bad about this afterwards. And I said to Dan, the man, after we finished recording, I texted him saying, you know, I hope you're okay. Is that okay? Was that so horrible? But luckily, no, Dan the Man is still in great spirits. And I want to repeat again that Dan the Man is an absolute legend of this podcast. He started the podcast with me and will always be a massive part of Rock and Roll English. So Dan the Man, I love you. I'm only saying it at this point of the podcast because I know there's absolutely no way he has listened to this podcast, number one. And number two, if he has, he definitely hasn't gone to the end. Anyway, remember that the membership to the Rock and Roll English family is now open. Rockandrollenglish.com slash family. Any questions, send me an email. I will answer you. And that's about it. I will speak to you very soon. I will make a few podcasts this week to share some more stories with you. But in the meantime, just keep on rocket baby thanks so much for listening to rock and roll english for more great content and to stay up to date visit rock and roll english.com and facebook.com slash rock and roll english we'll catch you next time